kami gudu. <laughs> good morning, well actually good afternoon from Paramaribo in Suriname. My name is Ivana in case we haven't met before and right now I'm waiting for the taxi to take us to the city again. Unfortunately, Mopi couldn't take me today, but I had a super funny driver anyways through this app, 1660. And it's really, really convenient. It's a little bit like an Uber, but the local version. Also, disappointments on disappointments on disappointments. Well, actually, no. Just one disappointment. Rupram is closed. So, I guess I have to find some food because I'm freaking hungry. But after that, I also need to book some tours. And I want to go to I want to go to Brownsburg. Oh my gosh, these guys here! Seriously, <laughs> if you ever feel insecure as a girl or a woman, you should come to Suriname. They have no freaking shame in their game, anyways. But with me, apparently, they think I'm either Dominican or Brazilian, which over here usually means you're a hooker. And apparently, these shorts also <laughs> make me look like a hooker or something. <laughs> It's freaking hilarious. There was this guy yesterday. He was so freaking funny. Like I saw him once and he was like, girl, come over here. Come talk to me. La, la, la. And then the second time I walked past that place because I needed to be there again. He was like, yo, I talked to you earlier. This is not how we're married. In Dutch, it's like a saying. This, this is not how we're married. But uh, like in, <laughs> in English, it's also kind of funny. So he was like, go, come, come talk to me. Where are you going? Girl, come back, come back. And it's actually so hilarious. You shouldn't be like shy or insecure or anything because they're just calling things and they're never gonna hurt you or whatever. Except when they see you alone at night maybe, but that's in every country, it doesn't matter. They are, I, I'm just having the best time <laughs> listening to all of their cat calling, stuff like that. Okay, food, food. Having nasi at this super touristy place, but it was open and it was nearby, so food. All right, let's see if I can book some cool activities for us to do. Orange Tours was recommended to me by two people, so Rishi and Misha Rubin. We will be meeting on Wednesday, I think. So let's see if they have some cool tours. What is going on here? Look at this limo. Have you ever seen such a long limo? Like this is. One, two, three, four, five, six windows, seven actually. This is a long limo, man. But, but to update you on the tours, I definitely want to go to Brownsburg. Uh, Brownsburg, Brownsburg. <laughs> it is a hike in the jungle, so that sounds super cool. I really, really want to do that, and that's a one day tour. Because we're here for quite a short time, like 10 days, we can do like three or four or five day tours. But there's also another one, which is a two day tour to um, Biggie Pan, something like that, also in the jungle. We can go kayaking and see animals and stuff like that. So I really, really hope we can do that on Monday and Tuesday. And otherwise we'll go zip lining above the Suriname River. So keep you posted. Oh my gosh, this cat calling, it's insane. Either they really, really think I'm a hooker, <laughs> which would be freaking hilarious, or I don't know, I don't know, like, I haven't been hit on this much in India, in Curacao, like in Curacao it's not even interesting, I have no boobs, I have no ass, they don't care, <laughs> here it's like 70 year old men, security guards, um, basically every car <laughs> that passed me, let me see if I can just not die. Maybe I can catch someone on camera. No, no. But <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, if you want attention and you feel insecure and you know, you want to feel good about yourself, but all the guys hitting on you. There we go, there's one across the street. Yeah, that's another car honking at me. I almost died. Almost got hit by cab. Like <laughs> I have to admit it's a lot less once you get into the center. So maybe it's just me being a girl walking around alone. Maybe they really do think I'm a hooker. 
In that case, I need some pants and not walk around in shorts, which would be okay by me. Like if that's her dress code, that's her dress code. And also, I don't know, maybe I just stand out too much when I'm by myself, when there are not that many people. Hmm. Going back home and I actually missed my bus stop because look at this sky. I was snapchatting this ish. I was making pictures for Instagram. Like look at this. So freaking pretty. And now I have to walk home. Yeah, it's only a little bit, but oh, look at this. Wow we just wanna keep filming for you. Cause it's so pretty. And the sky turned purple. I'm actually waiting for the taxi to come again because I thought I could order food. That's not possible. I have to go out and get it. I think this is my driver. Is this my driver? No, this is not my driver. Waiting for the taxi. Wow, I'm so shiny. Look at this, look at this. I'm like a little disco ball. Also, I'm quite aware my bronzing game might be too strong. <laughs> Thank you, Belle. Mm -hmm. Got the roti. So I got the roti at Chris Roti Shop. Let me yeah. just show you. Wait, where's the sign? Ah, there it is. Damn it, you can't see it. Chris Roti Shop, just chest. Oh, there we go. yesterday so I'm doing it right now wow wow dolphins look at them if you would like to travel along because today I'm doing something exciting click that subscribe button and if you like this vlog put a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye